If you're new here, please make sure you subscribe because I am on the road to 150 subs and I make NBA content like this 2K and live every single day. I'm going to say this right now. This game right here, this game you're watching, nearly broke me. First of all, hold on. How about to kill James Harden real quick? Ah, boom! I just effing killed that man. And before I go on my rant, one more, one more. Let me, let me just, got the steal, LeBron, throw it up there real quick. Yeah, F off, Chris Paul. You, you, what are you going to do, little midget? What are you going to do, you little midget? Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, now time to go on my rant. LeBron pull-up jumper, nice. This game right here, when I was playing this game, because you should know by now I do post commentaries, I was about to like quit 2K after this game. This game nearly broke me. Because you can see we were up 8-2. to two. All of a sudden it's only 14-10, to 10, you know. This, like, Chris Paul. Chris Paul is the one. Probably the most annoying player to go up against in this game. Chris Paul. Because if you ever played against Chris Paul in Hall of Fame, in my, my career right now, he is 36 year old. He is averaging 30 points and like three steals in the playoffs. 30 points. That is so unrealistic. I Chris Paul, he's amazing in real life. Trust me. I like him in real life. He can ball in real life. But he has only had two or three seasons where he's averaged like 20 or 21 points. When he was in his 20s, how, why, why would he be dropping 30 points in the postseason and 23 in the regular season? What? That's not, he's just not going to randomly just jump up and become a god all of a sudden. It just doesn't work like that. But in 2K, they treat Chris Paul like he's Curry and Kawhi bundled up into one, wrapped around with the damn Michael Jordan bow. Like that's how annoying he is to play in this game. And don't get me started on James Harden because this dude hits contested shots everywhere. It's actually ridiculous. It's actually ridiculous. I can't believe the lockdown defenders in this game. The lockdown defenders in this game are such an issue. I really hope they're not an issue next year. Because on Hall of Fame, every single player is a lockdown. You have to deal with every player being a lockdown. It's actually ridiculous. I've had Curry. I haven't gotten past Curry sometimes. I don't know why LeBron passed it there, too. Like, that's mad annoying. But there have been plays, there have been games where I legit cannot get past Curry. Never, I'm a 6'5 point guard. My guy's very, my guy's tall for a point guard. He's also heavy for a point guard. So it should not be hard for me to get past a little midget 6' Chris Paul over here. It really shouldn't. I understand Chris Paul. First of all, look at that shot. Look at that shot by Harden. How do you stop that? It, I understand Chris Paul's a dog on defense. He can he can play defense, but dude, he's thirty six. He should not be playing defense like this. He really shouldn't. And I think you see where this is going. We're not gonna we're not winning this game. Where I tried so many times to come back. First of all, LeBron can't hit a free throw and open um three pointer, but he hits a contested mid. That makes sense. But I tried bringing us back. I seriously, I tried my hardest to bring us back in this game. Hold on, I'm going to kill Quint Capella. Same dunk. Same dunk I did on Harden. But you can see the score. I constantly tried to bring us back. I accidentally left Chris Paul open. I'll take blame for that. I, I, I left him open like a dumbass. But the Rockets are going to tie up the series. They take back home court advantage. Going into LA. We swept every round before this. The Celtics are up 3 all on the Knicks. I just want to let that be known. So whoever wins this series is going to be facing the Celtics. There's no way the Knicks come back 3-0. And right there, I was so pissed off. I got double teamed and lost the ball. I started spamming square. I nearly broke the button on my controller. I was screaming. Screaming. I, I, threw, I threw Madden. Madden didn't deserve anything. I chucked that. My controller went flying. You can see the Hall of Fame verification right there, if you don't believe me. Harden dropped 44. He only missed four shots. Chris Paul dropped 37. He had six steals. I, I had 31. I fouled out. LeBron had 26. You're going to see game three probably tomorrow or the next day. GG.